Hello, this is Pinky, and this will be a tutorial on how to make your avatar go invisible. Now to get started, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our main package here. We're going to right click and we are going to hit the 3D object and create a cube. Now what we're going to actually do is we're going to set this to hold, just renaming it. And we're going to make sure that the scale is 0, 0, 0. And we're going to remove the box collider from it, but keep the mesh renderer. This will be very important and I'll explain why later. Now, our next step here will be to create the actual animations. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our avatar. We're going to find our effects layer right here. You can find it by clicking. It will highlight down here. And we are going to drag this effects layer into our controller up here. Now, after this is done, if you select your avatar and go to the animation tab, then you will now see that you have access to all your animations that are linked with this layer. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to bottom and do create new clip. And we're going to call this exclamation mark inv off, meaning that the invisibility will be off, meaning the avatar will be showing. So now what we're going to do is we're going to hit record and we're going to make sure that we double tap this for each of them so that it registers each of them as on or otherwise that the invisibility mode is off. So after doing this to all of our different meshes, as you can see, they will be registered down here. Now, if you do not have meshes like here and instead they're in the armature, you will have to open this up and find them and do that. You can do the exact same process. Now, the next step will be hitting stop on record. And what we're going to do is we're going to highlight these and we're going to hit control C to copy. And then we're going to open this up. We're going to scroll down. We are going to create a, a new one and we're going to call this exclamation mark in on. And then we're just going to hit control V to paste them. And then we're just going to uncheck each of them. So this means that the invisibility is on, meaning that it turns off the renderer on all these, making you invisible. Now, the next step will be the parameters. So we're going to head over to our main avatar, go to our descriptor. And if we see down here parameters, we're going to click on it and it will open up this parameter list. Now we're going to hit add. We're going to make sure that it is set to a Boolean and we are going to name it INV. And we're going to make sure the default state is off and that we have this as saved. Now, if we go over to the animator, we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to head over to the parameters. Make sure that you're selecting your avatar. And if you go to uh, animator, this will show up. So now we hit this plus button. We hit bull and we're going to call this INV. And as you can see, it is now down here. Now we're going to go to the layers. We're going to create a new layer. I'm going to name this INV, -E, I, or INV as well for invisibility. We're going to set the weight to one so that this animation actually works. And now what we're going to do is we're going to create a state. We're going to make it an empty and we're going to call this off, meaning that it will not, we will be visible on default. So we're going to go over here, click this little button here. And as you can see, invis off, we're going to double tap to select that. Now we're going to create a new state and empty. We're going to turn this and call it on. And now we're going to click this and make sure that we have inv on. We're going to make a transition here and a transition to the exit state. And now what we're going to do for here is we are going to create a condition and we're going to scroll down to inv and we're going to make it so it's true. So when the bull inv is on, meaning that we want to go invisible, it will go to this state. And then we're going to create another one and we're going to make it so that when if is false, it will go to this state back here. Now I'm just going to quickly remove my exit time and whatnot to make this animation instant. So it's an instant click invisibility. Now that that is done, we are going to click here and we are going to scroll to our menu here, double click. We're just going to create a new control. I'm going to call this in and then I'm going to make sure it's a toggle. I'm going to click on parameter in bowl. And after that is done, if we get our gesture manager emulator and we select it and then we enter play mode, as you can see, our avatar will load up. We will go to our scene and if we go to expressions and in and click it, our avatar completely disappears. And if we click it again, we will reappear. Now you may have noticed that I added this from earlier. And the reason that this is here is there is a bug in unity 2019.4 that if all mesh renderers on your avatar are turned off, your avatar will not reload for other players in the world. It may reload for you, but not other people. So that is why we have this hold uh, object here with a single mesh render that is a zero size. So it's not actually conflicting with your avatar. And this will allow it so that when you re-toggle, 
it will actually turn on all the renderers again, so others will be able to see you. I will actually show an example of this uh, next over uh, this part is done. But anyways, I'm going to hop into the VR chat to show that. And now, as you can see in-game, when I go over to our invis toggle and I click invis, I now disappear. Now, this also shows for both of them, as you can see. And if I toggle it again, I reappear. And now this is an example without the box that I showed you originally. Now, if I click invis, I will turn off on their screens. But if I click it again, you can see that I no longer register on their screens. They can't see me. The only way that they can see me is if I go over and reset my avatar. So the reason that we added that box in the beginning was for the mesh render. And now, as you can see, if I go over to the body and I do the hold invis that I created and I click the invis and then I click it again, you can now see that I have successfully cloaked and decloaked on their screens. Anyways, this has been Pinky. Thank you very much for watching and credit to Frostwall and Mr. Boy the Great for helping me with this video. Thank you very much. Have a good rest of your day. Pinky gone.